you have to go to college, you have to get a degree, and then you have to do something with that degree. But in reality, like, the world is just not that cut and dry. People find out that I'm a tattoo artist that holds multiple college degrees and they're like, that's confusing to me. Like, what went wrong in your life that you are slumming it, you know, in a tattoo shop when you could be doing whatever else they expect me to be doing? Uh, I was out for, you know, drinks one night, just kind of commiserating about my my horrible social worker life. and. And my friend was like, you should, you know, you're an artist. You do art all the time. You have First Friday shows. Why don't you become a tattoo artist? And I'm like, yeah, that's going to make my parents real happy. So it's like fallen angel, like from, you know, I'm going to be a, a neurological surgeon to I'm going to be a tattoo artist. Like I'm literally going to get skinned. Like I can't even propose that. If you knew exactly what you wanted to do for the rest of your life when you're 17 or 18 years old, and then you can pursue an education related to that for four years, and then you can get out and subsequently get a job doing that and be happy for the rest of your days. Like, it seems pretty idealistic, in my opinion. Um, all that being said, I wouldn't change the fact that I went to college, and I wouldn't change the fact that I got those degrees, because... It was a very formative experience. So we really only have, I mean, it would probably just take me another hour and a half or so on him. I believe that this is what I was meant to do. And um, I can't imagine anything being more fulfilling for me on, like, it checks all the boxes. Um, it is financially rewarding. It's emotionally rewarding. Um, I get to foster my creativity on a daily basis. Uh, like, you know, there's that really cheesy saying, like, if you do what you love, you never work a day in your life. I really feel like I live that every single day.